Hey everyone, Nick Bates here. Today we are going to be covering how to create multiple home screens. So this is my home screen right here. And if I were to right click, you'll notice that I also have a read only home layout. Now, for those of you who do not use read only, you might not be um, as exposed to this. But if we go over here to options, if we go to layout builder, and click on this, we can create as many home screens as we would like. Now, for those of you who uh, have customers logging in to read only, who are requesting a certain home screen and equipment view, this video pertains to you. And those of you who may own branches um, or have different shops or facilities using the same database, and they only wanna see um, either their own specific equipment in the flow chart, um, or they want to have a completely different look, maybe a system administrator look, a technician look, um, a business view, or just a separate company or facility. So if we come up into our home layouts, you'll see that I have multi-panel dash footer header main side. So these four layouts come together as one inside of the multi-panel main. And I'm gonna go step by step so you can easily see this. So let's go ahead and create um, a new layout. So we hit this uh, piece of paper with a little edge folded over here. And what we can do is we could call this tech-footer we could call it, if it was an admin layout, we could call it admin. Uh, the name here doesn't matter um, except for making sure you recognize it um, as you're editing the layouts. So come up with something easy to remember that lets you know exactly what the layout is for. If this was for a different branch, I might have a Charleston branch. Um, I might have a Columbia branch, right? Um, so whatever the case may be, I, I can create a different temple name based off of that. So what we're going to do is actually create in a, a technician view, um, cause that seems to be the most common. So if we say tech footer, then down here, I want to clone from the footer of multi-panel footer. Um, and that's due to the dimensions and all the stuff that we've taken the time to set up for you um, to make sure it looks good. So we wanna say tech-footer, multi-panel-footer. Now I'm gonna just speed through these. Um, you can skip ahead in the video if uh, you are already familiar with this. So we'll do tech header and then multi-panel header, tech main, multi-panel main, and then we're gonna do tech side, multi-panel side. Now we created the names of the templates and they've cloned the dimensions and whatnot. But if you want to actually customize the look and feel of these, we actually have to open them up. So double click on each one and make sure it looks the way that you would like. So if we go into the header, um, if instead of a, te a technician layout, this was maybe Omega Cal Charleston, Omega Cal San Francisco, whatever the case may be, you could then put that up here, right? So we could be like Omega Cal Charleston. And now this layout is gonna be customized to uh, that company, that verbiage. So we've created the four layouts. What brings them all together is the tech main. When we open up the tech main that we cloned from the multi-panel multi main, um, down here you'll see these merge, uh, t this merge text here. And what we wanna do is we wanna say, instead of multi-panel header, that's what it's pointing to, we want to then do what we just created and say tech header, tech side, 
check footer. Now you'll also notice that there is a flow chart and we can customize whatever you want the tech flow chart to be. So CLM flow is the uh, flow chart of mine. And when we go out of home layouts and into flow charts inside a layout builder, you'll see that I have a ton of different flow charts. Um, now this video is not on how to create and edit your flow charts, although I will show you a quick and easy way to do it. So what we do is we say new template, CLM flow, we're gonna just say tech flow. And then in here, we're gonna just clone CLM flow. Now that aesthetically got us, or, or that created the new template. We haven't edited it yet, but what we wanna do is go back to the home layout before we forget, go to tech main. And what we're gonna to wanna to do in here is we're gonna to want to say tech flow, all right? So now that's all set up, we just haven't customized it yet. So we close out of that, let's go back into tech flow and open it up in the flowchart section. Now in here, we have our flowchart. So let's just say for a technician, you don't allow them to see the o OOT process for whatever reason. You don't allow them to put equipment on hold. So we take this part out. Um, maybe you have a on-site um, group of technicians and then you have an in-house group of technicians. So we could, so let's just say this is the in-house one. So we could delete this. Um, maybe all the standards are shared internally and we don't need to do a check in, check out. We only do that for field technicians or, or whatnot. Or let's say that this is a, a different um, branch, a different facility, a different company that wants their company to see the flow in a specific way. So what I'm demonstrating here is you can take whatever your main flow is, you can cut out certain elements of it, and now this tech flow, this is what a technician would see. Um, if a technician is not even receiving things, you could remove the receiving portion. So we save this, and we close out of here, and now let's go to the home screen, let's reload all settings, And then if we right click in the middle of the screen, um, we should see tech um, as one of our layouts. However, there is one step that we forgot to do. Um, so this is a common mistake. So if we go back to options, we go back to layout builder, how do we expose all of the work that we just built and uh, supply it on that home screen? So if we go back to home layouts, we look at this, we got the multi-panel up here, and then we got tech footer, header, main, side. If we open up the tech main, and this is just a little bit of a recap here. If we open up the tech main and we look in here, header layout, uh, footer layout, side layout, all of that's pointing right. The flow chart's pointing tech flow. So everything's set up great, except for if we look down here on this window, we have something called a tech main visibility and usage. So this is how we expose these things. So you don't wanna expose the footer header inside, you only wanna expose the main because the main is the brain and it connects to the other layouts. So if we go here, and we add this, this first line here is what, what do we want to, to communicate to technicians on that home layout when we right click um, that lets them know that this is the technician's home view. So what we would do is we would just say technician home view. And then over here, we could create menu groups and different things. If you wanted to expose this to a read-only user, you can check this box. Um, but all we're concerned with is this right here, just the name. Um, all this other stuff can get a little confusing if this is your first exposure to this. So just worry about the name. We hit OK, and now you'll see that it says system-wide. So that means anyone, any profile can access this layout that may not be desired if you're only wanting maybe a system administrator and technician to have access to this layout, 
or if it's a specific company that you only want to give access to this layout, we would edit it in here. So currently it's set to system wide. If we double click on here and turn off system wide and hit OK, what you'll notice is we have three options. We can uh, filter this layout visibility by users. So I could come in here and just simply add the users that I want to to um, visibility of this layout. I could go by profiles, right? So profiles would be great if I have a technician profile. So then only technicians access this layout. And then the final one is the company or companies, I should say. And what this pulls from is whichever company is displayed in the equipment view. So if you're a specific, specific branch or facility, and you're working out of that company, then it'll expose this home screen. So lots of options here. I'm gonna keep mine at system wide for now, because this is just a test database. And then we close out of here. Let's reload all settings, because we did make some configuration changes. And then, drum roll please, we right click here, and there you go, technician home view. If I click on it, Notice how all that other stuff went away because this is the custom technician flow chart that I built. Now this can extend to other areas, right? We can edit the homes or the, the header. Um, we can edit this side information, uh, the logo up here. We can edit this over here. We can edit the footer. And when I click on a waiting vendor, or any of these tracking statuses, you're gonna pull up reports, right? Now, the final thing, I know this, we're at about 12 minutes right now. Um, I know this is a long video, but the final thing is, and I, and I get this question a lot, is, well, okay, I have a custom home screen for technicians or a branch or another company, right? But how do I customize then there, when they click on the tracking status, they get to see maybe a different tracking, a, a different report here. Like maybe I want to customize this for the technician. Maybe I want to customize this for the company or branch. Because if I go in here and I edit this and add things to this, it will not stick. I could go up here and add a company, right? and then hit select and then it's gonna only show that company. But as soon as I hit okay and go back into it, those changes do not stick. So the way we work around that is we go into options, we go into print builder, and we go into equipment reports. And you'll notice something called all active. If you want to customize what those tracking, how those tracking statuses um, generate a report or a search, what we want to do is clone that all active. So we're going to clone it and we're going to call it tech all active. And when I do that, I now can open this tech all active, edit it in some way. And then what I do is I go into my options, go back to Layout Builder, go into Flow Charts, go to my Tech Flow, and in my Tech Flow, I have the ability to instead of selecting All Active, I can select my tech all active. And now these tracking statuses will pull from this report. Thank you guys for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions and have a great Tuesday.